welcome back to my channel. It's Janeline again, and I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world. And if you're new here, welcome. Here we do plenty things. If that interests you, consider in subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with my latest videos. So today's topic, guys, is a very special one because I'm going to be spending my birthday edition here in David Austin Rose's garden here in All Brighton Shropshire. And I have visited here um, last June 6, 2021 and now we're going to visit again for my birthday. So join me and my family as we go along and do a tour of the David Austin Roses Garden. Let's do this! Here are the companion plants. Look, it's gorgeous. And here is the poet's wife. So I like the bright pink, bright pink, bright yellow color. And look at this. Oh, it smells like golden celebrations. Golden celebrations smells better. And speaking of golden celebration is this one so I have this in my garden this is how it looks like this one have uh, one of the largest blooms in um, David Austin roses so here's another um, there is another golden celebration And this one is why I highly recommend um, this. It it's, uh, smells good. The flowers are large. And you can use it as a, um, as a climbing rose as well. Short climbing rose. So this one is the country parson. So this must be the color when it's not faded. And let me smell. Smells good. The flowers look small. And so here's the poet's wife. Let me um, smell it again. Oh, smells good. So here it is. And here is the raw world doll okay it's named after a famous um children's book author and this is how it looks like and i'll smell how it smells like oh it doesn't smell that much so this is how it looks like so here's another um, Roald doll. Roald doll. I always get tongue tied with this. And on this side is the country parson. I I passed by this earlier. And this is Molly New. Sorry, Sorry. thank you. Right color. Smells good. Oh, it's not, no, it doesn't smell. There's no fragrance on that one. This is Molyneux. Okay. And here's Noble Anthony. Smells good. And this is Young with Lecidus, Lycidus. Oh, this one, the flower is large. Look at that. It smells good as well. Here's Charles Darwin. Thank you. 
give you a so Charles Darwin and let me smell how it smells like it's okay and here's buttercup so this is how it looks like Gorgeous single petal, and here's turtle jackal again. It's companion plants. Here's royal jubilee. I have this in my garden, and James L. Austin. another set of turtle jackal and here is lady of charlotte i like this look at this gorgeous gorgeous flower here there's a smell At this gorgeous companion plant it's called Achillea red velvet it's gorgeous here's Dame Judy Dench and this is how it looks like this one's already this one is a smaller one and it doesn't smell that much so both dame judy dance on this side and this is grace look at this it's gorgeous smaller it smells good i like the smell I like the fragrance so cute and here's the england rose mm, it's fine it smells fine it's all right but it's not smelling as good and these are gabriel oak so i have this in my garden as well it smells good the color is good and is tranquility and only one let's see only a few flowers here okay doesn't smell anything here is susan william ellis Smells good. Susan William Ellis. And this is William and Catherine. Mm, I don't like the smell. It's white rose. William and Catherine. This one is the ladies blush. Field Angel This is Vanessa Bell Looks good English Mask Hybrid Okay, Old Rose And this is Desdemona I love the fragrance of Desdemona This is how they look like Smells good these are companion um, plants again so the one that I like before is not here hopefully I can find it again 
These are the companion plants. This is Salvia East of Friesland. These are the other companion plants. And here's the Queen of Sweden. Uh, smells of old rose. So it's Queen of Sweden. So this is a better um, view of the rose. And here is Gentle Hermione. Smells like old rose. So here's Olivia Rose Austin. I have this in my garden. And so Olivia Rose Austin, Anastasia Vai, and Emily Bronte. And here are the other um, companion plants. Here are the companion plants. Salvia Caradona. I think I like this one. It's 9.95. These are the other hydrangea. I like the hydrangeas here. So, oh, we have P and W Proven Winners Hydrangea here as well. I thought it's just in the U.S. So and where are the others? Is Jesus Knight Vivan? So like what I've mentioned earlier, it's named after the founder of NHS. And this is the newest release of David Austin Roses. Um, so this is the 2021 David Austin Rose. So there you go. And there are some agapanthus on that side. It's just um, there. Right, so we're going to have um, cakes and drinks because we've missed the uh, lunch. It's only until 2.45 p.m. And yes, we're going to have cake for my birthday. It's a carrot cake. Victoria sponge for Sophie. And carrot cake for Jasmine as well. And for my husband. This is cotton candy. Where's the name? Or when she was in Disneyland. Gorgeous. Disneyland. Disneyland. Alright guys, so we've just arrived home. It's a three hour drive um, from David Austin Roses to our house. And this is what I got. It's the Bosco Bell. 
And look at how gorgeous it looks. This is how it looks like being stuck in the car for three hours. It's still gorgeous. And this um, salvia. So it's the name is Salvia Nemerosa Caradona Pink. So since our first um, visit at the David Austin Rose Garden, I wanted to get this one. So finally, I have this. And look at how gorgeous the color is. Normally, the color is purple, but this one is pink. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content and if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you again soon in my next video. Happy gardening!